हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म फर्स्ट लेट अस राइट दिस स्टेटमेंट इफ यू कंसीडर अ सिग्नल x1 ऑफ t फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस सिग्नल विल बी x1 ऑफ j ओमेगा and if you consider one more signal x2 of t for a transform of this signal will be x2 of j omega then y of t which will be equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t for this if we take for a transform we should get y of j omega that is equal to x1 of j omega plus x2 of j omega so this is the statement of linear property of fourier transform now let us see the proof we know x of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us take this as equation number 1 using equation 1 let us write y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity y of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt in place of this y of t let us put x1 of t plus x2 of t therefore we can write y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x1 of t plus x2 of t into exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now we can write the above equation as integration of minus infinity to infinity x1 of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t plus integration of minus infinity to infinity x2 of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t now using equation number 1 we can write this term as x1 of j omega and the second term as x2 of j omega therefore we can say y of j omega is equal to x1 of j omega plus x2 of j omega so this is the proof and the time shift property of fourier transform first let us write the statement it states that if we take a signal x of t and if we perform the fourier transform on x of t we'll obtain x of j omega then if we take y of t which is equal to x of t minus t not if we perform fourier transform on this then we'll obtain y of j omega that is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega t not x of j omega now let us see the proof we know that x of j omega we can write it as integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us call this as equation number 1 using equation 1 we can write y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity y of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now in place of y of t let us write x of t minus t not so we can write the above equation as y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t minus t not exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt now let us put t minus t not is equal to m therefore we can write t is equal to m plus t not and also in the above equation let us replace dt with dm 
using this analysis we can write the above expression as y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of m so in place of t minus t naught we are replacing it with m so that's why we have written it as x of m into exponential to the power of minus j omega m plus t naught since in place of t we are writing m plus t naught dm therefore we can write the above equation as y of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m into exponential to the power of minus j omega t naught dm we can take this exponential term outside the integration and we can write the above expression as y of j omega is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega t naught integration of minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m dm so this term is similar to equation number 1 therefore we can write y of j omega is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega t naught into x of j omega so this is the proof for time shift property of Fourier transform i hope you have understood this topic thank you